Hello and welcome back. This is video number two, and we're going to take your wonderful idea of your membership site and of course map it out. So I'm going to do a little bit of brainstorming to give you some ideas, especially if you don't know where to start. You don't really have an idea of what your membership site should look like, or maybe you do. And if that's the case, that's great. So if you do, what I want you to do, of course, is just write down the steps. If you don't, let me give you some ideas. So as you can imagine with a membership site where I briefly talked about it in the previous video, a lot of times they have different levels. So the free level oftentimes will give people access to content. But if they want access to maybe videos or access to a community, then they have to pay another level. So maybe the free level is down below and then you have a level on top of that, which is maybe $47 a month, or you could do a one-time fee. Now, bear in mind, if you do a monthly fee, you're going to need to have WooCommerce subscriptions, which is a, another extension. So to keep it simple, we're just going to do one-time fee. So you could charge someone $197 to get the next level. So maybe the next level is access to a Facebook group, other content, and then maybe you have a level on top of that. Now, obviously you want to keep it as simple as possible. So what I would recommend that you do is do a free level and then do a paid level on top of that. Let's map that out. So we have a membership site and I like to put it on the top here just so we can see. So I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so that it stands out like that. All right. So we're going to put this and we're going to call this a visitor. So they're not a customer yet. We have to convert them from a visitor or a prospect into a customer, or in other words, we have to gain their trust. So in order to do that, a lot of times you will have to give them content or something in exchange for their time. So something free, something that is valuable, something normally that they would have to pay money for, but you're going to give that away for free. So free content. So we'll call all this free level, uh, lots of great content. So in terms of WordPress, that could mean maybe five to 10 pages worth of really good content. And it doesn't have to be five to 10. It doesn't have to be a specific number. Just as long as you give enough value to make them think, wow, you've given me enough value. What do you offer beyond that? Right? So we have the visitor here. We send them to the free level and they're just extremely impressed to the point that they ask the question, which is what's next, right? And what's next in this case is your, we'll call it the premium level, which uh, in terms of, you know, tacticalities, it's just the second level above the free level. And this gives people access to all of the content. So all of the pages. So they even get access to the free level. So uh, this level is actually a lot easier to create because all you have to say is give access to pretty much the whole site. So give access to all of the pages. Maybe you have a community. It could be a Facebook group. It could be a community that's built into the WordPress site. And there's many different avenues that you could take, but to simplify things, I would recommend a Facebook group. So that's what's next. All right. Now we need to figure out what is the price going to be? So maybe before we connect the dots here, Let's say that the premium level, and 
I can put this down here. The price is going to be $197. All right. Now I'm going to make the font a little bit bigger so that you can see. All right. So we'll go not too big. But there we go. Now, this tool that I'm using, uh, just to let you know, it's called lucidchart.com. It's lucid, L U C I D chart, which is C-H-A-R-T.com. This tool, it does cost a little bit of money per month. It's not that much, but it's, in my opinion, one of the best tools. So what I like about it is we can actually make colors. So let's say that the levels are going to be green. So this level is green and then this level is green so that I have an idea. So the price is going to be here. And we're going to write create products. So we're going to need to create one product within WooCommerce, which I'll show you how to do in this particular section. So let's see. It's visitor and what's next. So I could actually just change the color for these two. Instead of green, we could just do something like light blue. So that way we have an idea that these are actually connected. So that is pretty much what our mind map is going to look like. So let me explain from start to finish. So we got the visitor. He or she comes to the site. They can then sign up, get access to the free level, lots of great content, whatever pages that you want. Then they're so impressed that they want to know what's next. Then you have a sales page and you say, hey, if you want more content and get access to the community so that you can get help whenever you need it. And then you send them to here. And if they buy that, then they get access to this. So that's essentially what the process is. So now that you know the process, taking that knowledge and taking this information and implementing it into the technical aspect of it is actually going to be a lot easier. Now, some of you might want to get more complex. You might say, well, I want to do 197 and maybe I'll give them access, one-on-one -on -one access to me, maybe a coaching level on the third tier. So if you were to do that, obviously you would just copy this and then you would tack it on. So maybe you could have something $197 a month or $97 a month one-on-one -on -one coaching or $500 a month one-on-one -on -one coaching. Regardless of what it is, it's just the same process. Now, like I said earlier, if you do a subscription, you're going to need to have WooCommerce subscriptions, which I'll talk about in a little bit more depth in the next video. So with that said, let's move on to video number three.